While the average person may describe the boxer as a strong, fierce, and even aggressive dog breed, ask any boxer parent, and all they seem to talk about is the breed's playful and curious demeanor. These dogs were originally bred in Germany in the 18th century by crossing the bulldog with the now extinct bull and baser to create strong hunting and guard dog. Yet, present-day boxers have won the hearts of many all over the world for their charming personalities, energetic nature, and loyal companionship. But did you know that there are three distinct varieties of boxer dogs officially recognized by breeders and four more depending on their coat colors? That's right, in this video today, we're going to be exploring the different kinds of boxer dogs and what sets them apart from one another. So without further ado, let's get started. Number 1. American Boxer The three official types of boxers are categorized based on differences in standards and different registries and are also known as three bloodlines of boxers. Out of three, the first to make it onto our list is the American Boxer. This is the youngest variant in the boxer line that was developed sometime in the early 1900s by introducing dogs from Germany and Austria to German basic stock boxers. The result was a smaller and leaner dog standing about 21 to 25 inches and weighing around 50 to 80 pounds. Despite the recency in development, American boxers were first to be given official recognition in 1904 by the American Kennel Club. They are working dogs and are bred to be sleek and powerful with tight skin that is stuck to their well-defined muscles. The tight skin results in a noticeable lack of wrinkles which makes them stand out as wrinkles are a distinguishing feature of the boxer breed as a whole. Another thing that sets them apart is their dog tails and cropped ears. This is often seen in American boxers who partake in the show ring. However, these practices are illegal in many European countries and are rarely even seen on the other two variants who tend to have floppy ears and non-dog tails. Number 2. English Boxer The English Boxer, also known as the British Boxer, is considered the most elegant of the boxer types due to their thin, athletic, and graceful body with high knuckles atop, small feet. This is their most distinctive feature as it gives them a stance that is different from the other two variants. These dogs are the smallest out of the three with thinner and shorter legs weighing about 55 to 70 pounds and standing around 21 to 25 inches tall. However, that is not to say that they are lacking in strength or speed as English boxers have slender musculature allowing for further agility and precise movements. Their thin body structure makes them excellent show dogs and competitors, particularly for agility. The dogs don't lose their gracefulness while hunting either, so a running English boxer is definitely a sight to behold. They were the second type of boxers to be recognized and registered in 1948 by the Kennel Club, which is one of the oldest canine organizations in the world. Number 3. German Boxer With the origins of the breed rooted in Germany, the German or European boxer is often considered the traditional and as some purists would like to call them, the only official boxer breed. Typically weighing between 60 and 80 pounds and standing at 22 to 25 inches at the shoulder, German boxers are the largest in terms of muscle mass and bone structure. Their physique is more defined with longer and stronger legs, which are natural features that have been bred into them for herding and hunting. One of their other distinctive features is the length between their skull and snout, which is exactly in a 1 is to 2 ratio in purebred German boxers. In comparison, their snout is smaller than the American boxer but wider than the UK variant. This is the type that has retained the most traditional features of the original boxers bred in the 18th century since most German boxers are still bred for their natural talents in herding and hunting. This makes the German boxer the oldest of the three recognized bloodlines of boxers. Despite being older, the official standard for German boxers was only established by the Federation Sinologic International in 1995 after the standards for both the American and UK boxers were already recognized. Number 4. Fawn Boxer Aside from their country of origin, boxer fanciers also classify the dogs based on their coat colors. This results in four more types of boxers, only two of which are recognized as standard ones. One of these standard colors is fawn. Fawn boxers can exhibit a range of hues from a light tan fawn to a dark red and even mahogany. They usually have white markings on the chest and the paws, although confirmation shows don't let the white markings exceed one-third of their body. A black mask on the muzzle is also quite commonly seen on these boxers. According to the standard, white markings on the face must not cover the black face mask in any way that diminishes the boxer's true expression. Fawn boxers are also among the most common types of boxers and possibly the most iconic. Number 5. Brindle Boxer The second of the two standard boxer colors is brindle, although it is not as commonly seen as fawn. 
Technically speaking, brindle is not a color, but a pattern, characterized by regular streaks of darker colors against a lighter background that usually ranges from fawn to deep red. The appearance of the brindle coat can also vary based on the thickness and thinness of the color stripes, with some looking almost solid fawn and others having more defined patterns. The concentration of brindle patterns can further classify boxers into three different types, although the most interesting of them is the reverse brindle. Characterized by stripes of irregular lighter color against a darker color background, reverse brindle boxers occur when the black stripes are so thick that the fawn background is barely visible. They differ from tiger and seal brindles, the other two types, who have darker streaks on a lighter background. The tiger brindle is the most common of the brindle boxers, and it resembles the body pattern of a tiger's coat in a more subtle way. The streaks of irregular darker hair patterns are spread across a light background. The seal brindle, on the other hand, has patterns that are so close to each other that it completely covers or seals the color of the background underneath. Number 6. White Boxer Despite sporting an almost completely white coat, white boxers aren't actually albino as most people believe. You see, albinism occurs when a dog lacks pigmentation on its body. However, that is not the case for the white boxer, as these undeniably charming and elegant-looking dogs are actually the result of unusual patterning. Simply put, they just have large white patches instead of being white all over. As a result, it's not rare to see a white boxer with patches of brindle or fawn fur around the eyes, ears, at the base of the tail, or on the top of their head. Those white patches of other colors are called check boxers. Another defining trait of this type of boxer is their lack of the usual black mask, which is standard in almost all boxers. Unfortunately, these guys have various myths attached to them and are considered quite controversial as a result. Such myths include the belief that white boxers are inferior to their brindle and fawn counter types and have more health problems, although there is no evidence to suggest so. These beliefs were so pervasive at one point that white boxers were even called in the past. Nevertheless, they're still a purebred type of boxer, and if their pure white looks strike your fancy, you can get one for yourself with relative ease, as they're not that hard to find either. Number 7. Black Boxer If the black boxer who has got the internet all hyped up with their majestic looks and rarity is what you were looking to adopt for yourself, well, we're sorry to say this, but you'll have to settle for something else. Some breeders advertise black boxers as a rare and unique breed to hike up their price, but this is totally misleading. In reality, purebred boxers do not carry the gene for a full black coat. They can only be fawn, brindle, or white. So any black boxer that you've ever seen is either a reverse brindle boxer or a mix of a boxer with some other breed. Reputable breeders will not sell their boxers as black, as this color is not recognized as a standard one. Number 8. Boxer Mix If none of the previous seven types of boxers have piqued your interest, you might as well want to give a chance to some boxer mixes. As the name suggests, boxer mixes are dogs that are developed by crossing a boxer with a separate breed to create the best of the both worlds. This results in some interesting combinations like the Boxador, who has the muscular build of the boxer with the friendly personality of the Labrador Retriever. Or maybe the energy and athleticism of the boxer pitbull mix is more your style. Well, from the Bulldog and the Rottweiler to the Golden Retriever and even the Siberian Husky, lots of different breeds have been crossed with the boxer to create unique mixed breeds with their own unique traits. Alright guys, that marks the end of the list of 8 different types of boxer dogs. Thank you so much for watching the video till the end. Now that you know all about the different types of boxers, which one is your favorite? Let us know in the comments below. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video and do share it with your friends and family to help out the channel. Subscribe for all things related to dogs, ring that notification bell to never miss an upload, and I'll see you guys in the next one.